Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I wanted to come on here and give you guys five tips on how to keep a clean kitchen. These tips are going to help your kitchen always stay clean. It is very rare that my kitchen will be dirty and so I just kinda wanted to come on here and share my tips with you guys and I hope you guys enjoy them. So my first tip is to unload your dishwasher first thing in the morning and that way you can load it up throughout the day and you will never have dishes in your sink. What I like to do is start my dishwasher every night before we go to bed. Normally I start it like right after the kids go to bed and so me and my husband are still awake while the dishwasher is running and sometimes I will even come in here and get a head start on the next day and just unload it before I go to bed but a really good tip that I have is just to make sure you unload it first thing in the morning no matter what and that is really going to help you keep dishes out of your sink my second tip is to clean while you cook in our kitchen it is a very small kitchen and right inside this door right there <laughs> that was hard to do backwards um, but right inside that door back there is where our laundry room is and that is where our trash can is as well so it's no problem for me just to take the trash can and kind of move it over to the counter. That way while I am cooking, I can go ahead and just throw anything into the trash that needs to go into the trash. Make sure if you are also using like your milk, you go ahead and put it right into the refrigerator again as soon as you're done using it. And that is just really going to help you not have to have a huge cleanup after dinner or after lunch or anytime you're cooking. My third tip is to not keep anything on the countertops. I keep a little bit of decorations over here all the time, but I don't keep any other appliances on my kitchen counters. Now, I know a lot of people use like their coffee maker every morning, but I've never been like a coffee drinker. So I would suggest if you use it every day, <laughs> then go ahead and leave it out on the counter. But for me personally, there is not an appliance that I use every single day. And so I really don't need anything on my counters. I don't even own a coffee maker because I'm really just not that into drinking coffee. Just for my other appliances, my toaster and my waffle maker, my skillet that I kind of like to plug in um, that doesn't go directly on the stove, I will keep those in a separate area, but I definitely do not keep them on the countertops. And I love clean countertops because I feel like you can really see when the mess starts to build up when you're used to seeing clean countertops all the time. Clutter just creates more clutter and so whenever you have a bunch of appliances on your kitchen countertops, you're going to be used to seeing some clutter on your countertop so it's no big deal just to add some extra clutter to it. So that is why I really think it helps a lot to keep those countertops as clear as possible and as clean as possible because you will be used to seeing that clean countertop and you will notice the mess a lot easier. My fourth tip I think a lot of people struggle with and this is something that we struggled with um, in our very first house that me and Justin lived in and that is having the kitchen table be kind of like the catch-all. So any papers that come into the house, any mail, anything like that kind of just went on the kitchen table. And so I really needed to figure out a different system for that because the kitchen is the like heart of the home and everyone is always in the kitchen and any visitors that you have come over, they're normally coming into the kitchen as well. So what I decided to do was keep all of our papers, any papers that come into the house, in our laundry room. That way, if we do have company come over, then they're not seeing a table full of papers because normally they're not gonna go into my laundry room and it keeps my kitchen table cleared off. And also, it's just really nice for everyone who is also living in the home, not just for visitors, but anyone who's living in the home. It's nice to have a cleared off kitchen table that you can use to eat at <laughs> and you don't have to clear it off every time you are ready to eat. My fifth tip is to always have a clean kitchen at night. Make sure you're wiping down your countertops. Make sure you give it a good sweep if it needs to be swept or vacuumed. I also like to wipe down my appliances like my refrigerator and my oven every night just because I have little fingers all over the place. I have a two and three year old and so they're always kind of touching things, leaving fingerprints all over my dishwasher and stuff. So it's really no big deal just to wipe those things down. Seriously, it's probably gonna take you like less than a minute just to give those things a quick wipe down and you will be surprised how much better your kitchen will look. So that is it for this video. Please leave this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this and would like to see more. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.